All right, here's your quick and dirty how to pull the data out of an M1 ECU so that you can email it to somebody or at least just get the data out so you can look at it. So the first thing is once you have M1 Tune open and you connect by Ethernet to the ECU, you will notice if the ECU has been discovered by the laptop, it will tell you right down here at the bottom of the screen if the ECU has been discovered. And or you can check under Quick Launch, make sure you see a picture of the ECU, it'll list the serial number and what the name of the ECU is. At that point, you can go either to the online menu, retrieve log data, or you can use the little shortcut here, which is the same deal, retrieve log data, or you can use control and the F8 key. At that point, it'll ask which ECU you want to pull the data from. And if you have connected to other ECUs before, they'll show up in the recent ECUs list. And it will also show you the discovered ECU, which is currently this M150 serial 1177 for Speed Demon. So I'm going to click OK on that one. It's now going to ask which of the eight data logging systems I want to retrieve data from. It could default and have them all checked on or all checked off. You can check on the, one, check on the ones you want, check off the ones you don't want, or just check all of them. Uh, and then this will be the folder where it'll put the log data image. You can browse and put that in a more appropriate folder, or you can leave it in the folder that it defaults to. Click Next. It now wants to know which of the eight data logging systems you want to, to delete data from, assuming you want to erase them. So you can select them off if you don't want to erase the data, or you can pick and choose how you like. Click Next. Now you see the more familiar screen where you enter information about the data. Uh, about the data. Uh, and you can change the driver name, you can change the venue, the event, the session to match where you are. And note the log data folder down at the bottom where, again, it's going to drop the data log when it's done converting it. So we're just going to put test log data retrieve. If only I could type. Click Next. Now we're going to find that the ECU is going to give us a status bar and show us what it's doing. I have to log into this, so log in as user for this ECU. Of course, I figured to failed to get the password right. Let's try again. Oh, right, it's because it's actually this. There we go. So now you're going to get a status that shows you that the, EC, the data from the ECU is being retrieved, and it gives you um, the amount of data that's already gotten down here at the bottom, and it tells you how fast it's being transmitted from the ECU over Ethernet to your laptop. At some point, this is probably a massive data log. I probably should have done a smaller one. Um, but in spirit with my standard video uh, etiquette, I am not practicing anything beforehand, and so I am totally at the mercy of whatever this thing does, just like you will be in real life, which is kind of good. So anyway, this status progress bar, retrieved log data, will count across uh, until it's got all the data out of the ECU. Uh, and then it will give me the option to convert the data uh, into something that I can use I2 to interpret, uh, or I can just save at that point and I can convert that data log later. And that gives me a, a faster way to disconnect from the car so that it can take Bach off and go around the racetrack, like if you're in the hot pit of a sports car race or something like that. If you're at a land speed race or you're at your pit area and you're pulling data next to your race trailer, you don't have to worry too much about how quickly you get done pulling the data, but in some cases it's important to be able to disconnect from the car right away. And so that's why it will retrieve the actual log file and then convert it into something that's useful afterwards, allowing you to disconnect, send the driver and the car back out immediately. So some point here it's going to tell me that it's done and it's going to erase. There we go. Now it tells me I can disconnect. I can convert later or I can convert now. I'm going to go ahead and convert now. So I'm going to click next and I'm going to tell it to start the conversion. And then it's going to go through here and spend a couple minutes converting the file into something that you can actually look at using I2. Um, if the file has not been converted to an I2 style data log format, you won't be able to find it or open it using I2. Okay, and at this point, um, you have the option to open in I2 where it'll automatically open these two log files, or you can close and use I2 to open them later. But that's how you get data out of an M1 ECU 
Thank you very much. function.